we're back. Ollie and Jackie. We're going to start with the two of you. We have just left you. Uh, about to, mm, let's say, acquire a ride uh, back to your respective home bases. So I think we will begin with the two of you in the car. We can we can skip the part where you get it. You get the car. So we join the two of you in the car, driving through the streets of Gotham. Set the scene for us. It's like mid hour, mid mid afternoon rush hour, right? Like right around the time we're actually fucking off. Is Probably, it, yeah. We could I mean, we could go. Well, no, no, no. It, it's later because you ended up at. So sorry. the heist. You started the heist like late morning, early afternoon. Okay, yeah, then sorry, yeah. you ended that sort of mid to late afternoon. You went back to Adam's mom's. <laughs> uh, and also, Adam's. Excuse you. You did not. The two of you did not stay for dinner, but you were there for long enough that like she she was you know making dinner as you were leaving for sure so Ollie, Ollie was, I, I think was it's happy probably you know it's it's at least early evening at this point you would have had to have dragged hopper away from there like by 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 my ankles <laughs> and i would have been clawing at the floor <laughs> fucking love my fungo so yeah so it's so yeah we're a little past evening uh evening rush hour and uh i think ollie has uh has uh yoinked liberated whatever you want to call it um commandeered. commandeered uh some rich assholes like stooped up uh, like overly expensive audi or something i don't know uh great come at me audi um uh, and uh, we are. I mean, that's arguably up. an endorsement. You've you've said that it's a <laughs> desirable car to get. Yeah, it's a desirable car for rich people. Whatever. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get. I'm I'm gonna get. Uh, some some friends might actually be mad at me, so I'm gonna stop talking. Um, we. So uh, where? So it's ooh, it's early evening. It's Gotham, so it's overcast. We've got the really? sulfur lights. I think we're cruising down like a main boulevard, like um, like uh, across, cutting across one of the boroughs of Gotham, whose names yep. I definitely know. In January, definitely... so you know trees yeah. are bare of leaves. Though uh, I don't think we've established that there's any snow on the ground uh, these particular couple of days, and and you yeah. are currently in Uptown Gotham, oh, we're or you, at least you Gotham. start you started you in started. Uptown. Yeah. Um, where, where is, uh, Jackie and Harvey's house? Which, where are we headed? Uh, I don't have that house yet, but, uh, the... So wh where's your rental? <laughs> uh, well, the... it's not really a rental yet either. So where are Mantis. you squatting? Uh, I believe we said that it was closer to downtown, like the older district. Um, it's not quite like midtown downtown area it's a little bit adjacent to that got you got you um yeah so i think um ollie's driving along and then just kind of doesn't uh one hand on the wheel just very casual very uh very um relaxed just goes uh you know i can do mass ed and uh Dot dot dot. Maybe they can't do math, and Ed was definitely concussed. To be fair, Ed, a yeah. literal computer programmer. So you can do math. Congratulations. How'd you get down, Jackie? I was given the same tools you were. Oh, no, you weren't. Yeah, I was. Carabiner. Do you do you know how we got down? It was the most was... deranged shit I've ever done. How did you get down? Why don't you tell me? Literally just slapped the carabiner on a window washer's elevator's rope and hoped we didn't die when we hit the platform. That sounds pretty close to what I did, so. Huh? What'd you do? There was also window washers on the other side of the building. It's almost like people were working today. 
I'm not that stupid, Ollie. I know sometimes I say that I am, but I do know how to get out of a building. Okay. okay. How about you? Did you get the information you wanted? Is it good? Did you get a chance to look at it? Nearly as much as, I, as I'd have liked. We've got a project name. Um, how them. much other information is there, David? You mostly have information on the scientist whose employee file you grabbed. So you've got uh, a name, you have a list of some projects that this guy worked on for Ace Chemical while he was there. Um, there's probably years, months and years that he worked on them and um, some, you know, light personal information. Uh, I think I established, like, it's got his, you know, address, contact information, his, his you know, emergency contact. It probably has um, his his insurance plan through work, uh, whatever his, his benefits election was, um, stuff like that. Yeah. And so the project name is is what you saw as the most recent project that he worked on. Project series, right? Project series, yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna roll really quick because I don't know if Ollie <laughs> actually went like Ollie did some school, but I don't think they're the the most uh, book smart. Some sort of weird project, the uh, project series. I don't know, I, I, like, but spelled fucky, like C E R. Weird. Uh. uh... Yeah, I mean, do you know what you want the next step to be? Like, what are we doing with this? Oh, we've got another name, and I guess uh, I'm going to find out where this guy lives, find out and about him, and then, I don't know, nail him to a seat or something until he tells me what. Sounds about right. You're going to... Clue us in on that, right? You're not going to leave us out of the loop? Yeah, sure. Of course. I mean, look, I mean, we care about Ivy, too. Not as much as you do, but she's a friend. Yeah, well, we all got our obligations. We do. Look, I am... This isn't going to go well. I, I don't I don't think Hobbs going to be particularly happy with what I just did today. Despite everything. But, uh... Yeah, well, I'm glad you made it out of there in one piece. I guess, like I said, I guess Ed really was concussed. Yeah, Ed was very concussed. Uh, hopefully, you know, Adam's mom keeps him there for a bit, because I don't think you should go back to being <laughs> alone for at least 24 to 48 hours. I... I have an unfortunate feeling that that is exactly what is going to happen. That's not what I meant. <laughs> but also, I mean, I don't know how he does it. Legitimately baffling. It is. All the failing upwards. <laughs> <laughs> Ed's ap applied the Peter principle to dating. It's called BDE. Big dad <laughs> energy. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, that's that's the title of it. So. There it is. Great. But uh B Big Dad Energy, writing it down. <laughs> but you you okay? I mean it was a lot in the end. Uh I mean you were taking hits same as I was. Oh, I'm uh what's what's the word I'm looking for? It's when you know like uh when you push the thing and it comes back out. Like, uh, not really much to go by, but uh, I, I don't break I think easy. I know what you're talking about, yeah, but um, that's not what I meant. Whack a mole, <laughs> <laughs> look, I, I, I got I got some bruised ribs, it's it's fine, still not what I meant. Ali, do I have to like actually come out and say it? I'm fine. I wish we had gotten more. Yeah, well, the thing about these jobs is we never come out with as much as we want. You're kind of getting tired of it? Yeah. Well, somebody's got to do it. 
Yeah, I guess that's true, but uh, what are we really doing? Keep an idea alive. Yeah, I mean, obviously, aside from that, I mean, that, that's a good reason to be doing this stuff, right? I mean, we're, we're trying to keep the people we care about alive, but what happens after that? I think she's going to have the answers that we're going to need. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I guess, I guess I'm just... I'm seeing a long line of jobs, Ollie. Like, real talk, Jackie. Like, you know what this life does to people. This isn't, oh, this isn't a meat grinder with a happy ending. All right, Ollie, but what if I... What if I don't want to go through the goddamn meat grinder all the time? No. You say it like it's so easy. Like, there's something outside of this that I could do. Always. There's always more. There's always a way out. Yeah. I don't know. I like to think that maybe... There's a way that we could do what we do, but do it better. We're not just doing this to survive. You and you and me, we've been doing this since we were kids. I'm not doing it to survive anymore. You know? That's something I believe in. You got someone. Column A, little column B. Okay, Ollie. Since it's such a meat grinder out there, and we could die any time we step out the door, what are you waiting for? What the hell are you waiting for? Waiting for? I don't know what you mean. And that, I, I think Ollie brake checks the person behind them a little bit. <laughs> so Jackie just kind of goes. Brr. Ollie. See that squirrel? She's perfect for you. Yeah. You can't play dumb with me. I've known you too long. Look, just because someone's perfect for someone else doesn't mean that it, the inverse is true. Oh, that's such bullshit. Sorry. It's stupid. You're not even going to try to say anything? I have to. Don't you want to? I mean, she probably... Ali, I gotta be honest, she probably already knows. Yeah. That's kind of the point. We could have died today. You would have died trying to save her. Do you know how she might have felt? Not having a chance to say anything to you or not hearing anything from you about it? Doesn't that keep you up at night sometimes? It would keep me up. It did keep me up for five years. So I know a little something about how this is, and you should just say it. It's gonna make me feel better, Jackie. But if it's not about better, things didn't magically get better for me, but they were different and it was good not doing it on my own this life I don't I don't want to mess it up feel that but that's the thing about these inconveniences one way or another things get messed up regardless I don't want you to wish that you had done something different exactly what I'm worried about. They say all of that is true. And I decided to dump my feelings all on the floor like it's a five-gallon bucket full of fucking motor oil. Right? Mm -hmm. Sure, maybe it worked. Maybe it's appreciated. Maybe it's received. But at the end of the day, it changes the paradigm. Well, they sometimes I just don't get you. Aka's got better things to worry about. She's, she's gonna save the world. That I understand. I feel the same way about Javi. I think that is when you pull up in front of the building where you and Harvey are staying, Jackie. Hey, uh, Jackie, oh, very carefully eases herself uh, out of the car, maybe holding a few ribs as she gets up. She just puts a hand on the on the door. I don't want you to regret anything, okay? Too late for that. That shit fucking staled, crashed, hit an iceberg, got raised, and then got fucking sunk again in a storm. Ali, don't pretend you don't know what I mean, what I'm talking about. Know what you mean. Just give it a chance, okay? Oh, 
Thank you deserve God. to be happy, too. Yeah, a lot of people deserve a lot of things, good and bad. In my experience, they don't get them. All right. I'll see you later. You smell that? <laughs> Yeast? Oh, it's bread. All right, keep driving. Get out of here. Um, <laughs> all he waits for you to close the door and then takes off. Yeah. I had these in a different order, but I think it actually makes the most temporal sense to stick with Jackie. I'm cool um, with that. Okay. It, is that is that okay with everybody? Oh yeah, the camera does a tracking shot as Jackie closes the door. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Jackie you climb the stairs to your shared apartment. And as Ali indicated, the scent of yeast is getting progressively stronger. You're killing me. As you go up to the top floor where your little apartment is. Let's have a fortune roll here. So this is going to be... I want to know what you do to clear stress because we still haven't mechanically gotten to that, but I think we're going to use this as your stress clearing role. And then we'll kind of put the actual, what you do uh, later on in the scene. All Does right. that make sense? So is this, yeah, it's a straight up fortune roll. Okay, um, I am going to ask you to roll with, it feels like to me you should be rolling with Harvey's level. That seems correct to me. Sure. So. I know what you're Let's. Me. Let's have three. Straight 3d6. 3d6. Okay, okay. 3d6 fortune roll. Mm. Please roll higher. Please roll higher. I rolled a three, two, and a four. Okay. So highest is a mixed success or a or a weak hit. What did you tell Harvey that you were doing? Mean. <laughs> what it what did you what did you say, if anything, when you left this morning to go do the Riddler job? Oh. Um, uh, I think she told the truth that she was meeting everybody to talk about this job. Okay. So, Jackie, you open the door. Uh, no, I think as you approach, the door opens because oh, Harvey knows where knock. you. No, you don't. You don't even. Uh, it's your. Ha it's your own home. You. Why would you knock? Because we established that there's a secret knock that you have to oh, do. Oh, we at did the door. establish there's a secret knock. Yeah. So right, you your your hand is hovering over the door, like about to to rap, and the door the door opens, uh, and there's Harvey, and immediately he just rushes out and brings you into his arms. Oh, oh thank God you're back. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, come in, come in, come in. Oh my god, Jackie, I can't even tell you. Harvey. I tried to be cool about it this morning, but I was I was freaked out all day. I couldn't I I didn't know what to do. She pulls she just like I think she just pulls him in for another hug. I'm I'm okay. It's over. Yeah, is it? It, it is. I have money. Right. I can get the house, and I'm fine. It, this will all heal. Just scrapes and bruises. Oh my god! And he he sort of he he's been holding like he grabbed you such that he didn't really look at you, and now he he sort of like separates to take a look at you, and he's like, "Oh my god, you're beat all to hell." I'm fine. Oh my god, I'm what okay. the fuck happened? A lot of things. Um, I uh. Well, I mean, we infiltrated Riddler's base, and uh, God damn you know, it, Jackie! Everything ensues, but I'm I'm okay. No, this is exactly what I was saying, though. You you look he, like you 
you look like you've been to war. <laughs> well, it's Gotham. I, uh, uh, um, it, it, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just glad you're okay. That's, I am. That's all that matters. And we, I, now that you've done this, you don't have to do it again, right? No, I don't have to. I, I mean, we can, we can get a real place now, right? Yeah. That's get out of the it. city, start over, the whole thing. Yeah, we, we could do that. Um, I'm going to ask you something, Javi, and just hear me out, okay? All right. I know you've been stuck here. You know, I mean, even if we go to another city, we're still technically fugitives. I mean, do we want to be on the run forever? You, you stuck in a house this time instead of a safe house? Me just trying to get whatever odd jobs I can get? And maybe that's okay for a while, but what if, um, I know you. Don't you ever think about wanting to maybe be a lawyer again, helping people? Yeah. Yeah, I think about that every day. Well, I want that for you. I want you to do that. But if we're, if we're hiding forever, you'll never be able to. Avi, what if, um, I mean, stranger things, right? But we could... There's a lot that happened today. Uh, I, can I, I think I, I helped somebody. There was a girl that was stuck, uh, kidnapped. I helped her. I hope I did, anyway. Uh, I'm not great at this, but I, I, I freed her with everyone and, and gave her the directions to get out. It was the area that, that well, I kind of cleared out, but it should have been safe and she should have gotten out. And I did that. I did that. Harvey, there's, there's a look passing over his face, or at least half of it, that is like this sort of, sort of like amazed admiration, but underneath it is something a little, I, w I want to say almost self-satisfied. And he says, that's good. It's really good. Yeah, but could maybe do more of that. You and me. I dedicated half my life to helping people. Jackie, I tried so hard for so long until it all fell apart. But I... when I was helping people, I've always believed, this part of me has always believed that that was the most important thing that I could do with my life. And I haven't stopped believing that. The other part of me says that it's not worth it. That it's all a big joke. That it's all random chance. Just a flip of a coin. Why does it have and to be bad? Because nothing gets better that way. But there's you that helps people in a certain way, right? But there's also this other side of you. You could maybe still help people. Maybe I'm biased, and maybe it's uh, the couple of bruised ribs talking at the moment, but I know you... And that other part of you is the protector. He protects you. He protected me. Well, when I would let him, but why, why does he need to just... You could channel it into something else, something good. No, no, I, I, I can't hear this. I don't want to talk about this. I don't know what no, you're you saying, don't. Jackie. I... No, I do know what you're saying, and I, it 
and he starts uh, he starts kind of pacing back and forth. He's getting really agitated Javi? about this. I'm Javi. There's I'm... nothing. There's nothing good about that part of me. If there's nothing good about that, that part of you, of then me. if there's nothing good about that part of you, then there's definitely nothing good about me at all. Because you have seen what I do. I've also said, <laughs> screw it, burn the city to the ground. Who cares? As long as I got mine. And now you say that you're going out there and helping people. So that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but do you think I do that with words? I fought my way through half a goddamn building. So what? You're, you're telling me nothing has changed. No. I'm just thinking that if we don't do what we're supposed to be doing, then we're... We're never going to be free of any of this. I don't know what it is you think I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what it is you think you're supposed to be doing. I thought that we said that what we were supposed to be doing was giving all of this up. Not, not going back to the the violence and... Is it? Is that all it is? I mean... I'm not doing it for Falcone. I'm not doing it to run, you know, a mob war. I'm not, I'm not doing it because someone told me to kill somebody. You always made me feel like maybe I could do something. I could be better than I was. I believe that. I believe I, that down to the core of me. I don't know what to do with that sometimes, Javi. It scares me. But you can actually help people. You are, you've always been good at it. You don't, I, for me, this is a steep learning curve. Trying to do any of this, figuring it out. I just thought that the two of us, you and me doing this, that feels right. I can, find people that need help and you can help them. I, I don't know if this was a half baked idea. I, I, I just, I want that life with you have, I want a house. I want a future. Even if I do that, I'll still be Jackie. I'm, I just want to be Jackie in a way that's not just the girl with the gun. He, closes the distance between the two of you again and wraps you in his arms and just kind of holds you there for a beat. And then you hear in your ear, I didn't think you had it in me, in you, to praise me like that. It was touching, really. I meant it. You've always been my best girl, Jackie. Love? She she is still holding him, but she's she's gonna push him away so she can actually look at him. Yeah. Do not twist my words around. You could be better. You don't have to be at odds. Oh, we're at odds, baby. Believe no, you me. To me. We're more at odds than we've ever been. God damn it. Listen. You could take all of this. I know what that's like to feel that you're out of control and that the only thing you could possibly control is the anger that's inside of you. Just to hurt other people before they hurt you. I know what that's like. It's what the whole world is like. You, you could know take that. all of that. You could take all of that and use it for something better. You and me, you and me, we know how to fight. It doesn't just have to be for ourselves. My other half agrees with you. I don't see what there is besides us. It's always gotta be for ourselves, Jackie. So what, I, uh, I get, we get this house and you're gonna be okay with that? I don't seem to have much of a choice in the matter. Nobody's really been consulting me. We haven't talked in a while. You're the one that told me to take the job. And you did it. And it sounds like you did it well. I didn't kill anybody. 
All right, you did it all right then. Just... Some part of you, maybe it was Harvey, that looked at me and thought that I could be better than just a hit woman on the street. But I think you are the reason he even bothered to talk to me in the first place. Am I wrong about that? You got that right. You got both parts of it right. Because I always knew you could be better too. Not in the way that he wants. Maybe you should try to be better in the way that I want. Have you thought about that? You want to keep me? I've done a lot of stuff for you over the years just to keep you around. And for a while, I was okay with that. I was used to it. And it broke my heart every single goddamn day. And if you think I'm going to stay, if you want to go down that road again, you are betting wrong. Because I'm going to tell you something, and this is not the way that I thought that I would, and you are not the version that I wanted to say this to, but I think you're the one that needs to hear it first. I'm listening. I love you. I would burn the city to the ground for you, but I'm asking you, I am begging you, let us try a different way. You are everything to me. You are everything I ever wanted. Javi sometimes says that to me. And you always come in trying to say the same thing. I think you want to. I think you don't know how. I want to have a role here. We're either talking sway or command. <laughs> you you are what? either you are either yeah you're either swaying, uh, two face to, uh, to your side of the uh, uh of the the relationship here, or you're just commanding him to straight up like, man the fuck up and admit your feelings. <laughs> I think. It command when you word it like that because i was gonna say sway but yeah yeah give me a give me a fortune roll with command that's two two two? i think oh two two dice it's three it's three i leveled it up yeah all right hit us okay come on come on that's a six to start but we're gonna roll the other two okay great 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 i'm not saying anything until i roll this other one Two sixes and a five. Holy shit. Okay. Um, yeah, that's not cry. only... That is not only going to get him <laughs> to to admit this. Uh, he's actually going to go along with what you're suggesting. Yeah, so Harvey all seems my kind of... For the rest of the game. <laughs> Harvey seems kind of taken aback for a moment and... He he mulls this over and says, Well, maybe you don't want to hear it from me either. Like this. But you gotta know, Jackie, I've always loved you. Both of us have. Feels like since the moment we walked through that bakery door, when... He talks about you being special in his naive way. And when I talk about you being special in mine, we don't think we're talking to two different people. We don't think we're talking about two different people. That's always the way it's been. So, all right, you think both sides of me can do something good for this city. You think both of us can be better? Well, Jackie Ripley, show me. And he pulls you in and kisses you. Jackie is crying. She wasn't expecting that. Okay. Right. We can do this. And uh, here's the weird part. Javi, I actually believe that. I can't believe I'm saying this. But I do too. Which is, I think, where we should leave that scene. (laughs) 
I have to lie down for a calendar year. David, I have a question for you. Yeah. Why the fuck is Two Face so sexy? <laughs> That's a question I've asked myself for years, Andre. Uh, it's. Uh, I feel like it's explicitly Marcy's fault. I feel like I feel like Marcy has incepted us all with sexy Two Face. I just need everyone to be likes... aware that he is the sexiest of all of the Batman villains, and now I am on camera saying that it's true. I want the black ball. <laughs> Whoa! You just like exploded. I don't know what happened, but like your mic just like would like Did like come on, and it was like <laughs> it was very it was kind of like a deep fried meme. It, it was completely it was completely appropriate. <laughs> I don't know why that's a That's funny. Anyway, my mom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Adam. Um. <laughs> Adam, <laughs> how <laughs> did things shake out with your mom? I I feel like I would I, I would like to get I would like to get a summary of where you landed with her because we know you had another conversation for sure yes. um, over the, or, or multiple over the, the course of the rest of the evening. I don't think that it was dramatically different from the one that we saw previously. So no. I don't know that we want to get into it in detail, but no. I do want to know where you feel things left off um, after whatever amount of time you feel is appropriate to have passed. I think Adam, like Adam came clean about being uh, in a criminal, criminal syndicate working for Riddler and was very frank. It was just like, this is what I do. This is how I make money. There are not a lot of opportunities like this. It is good pay. I have literally been helping us pay bills for like the past four years with this money. Like, this is just what I do. And I think Carrie was understanding and loving and was like, I'm proud of you for saying this. I can't have you living in my house if you're doing that. And I think they both agreed that Adam has to move out. Wow. At some point within like a month. Okay. Yeah. So it was like very genuine and like open, but also like you can't yeah. do that here. So. Yeah, very much like I love you. You will always, always be my baby boy. But if this is the path that you got to walk, it can't be here, and I can't be a part of it. So after that, I have two questions. Mm. One, what do you do to blow off stress? Uh, right. Which you, you've now both accumulated a, a shit ton of mechanical stress from mm -hmm. the heist. And I have to imagine uh, your mom in her, you know, like loving, tender, motherly way kicking you out. Uh, Could you it, imagine the stress of trying to find a new apartment in Gotham in a month? Yeah. Jesus. So I mean, what are you, you talking know, about? The rent is so low. Yeah, the rent is so <laughs> low and people are dying all the time. True. It's People aren't even moving out. They're just dying. Like, I, you, you need know, a place to crash. Yeah. Fully furnished apartment. Rent, three hundred bucks, fully yeah, fully furnished. Don't worry about the blood stains on the floor. It's you know, the renter's insurance you got to look out for. That, yeah. yeah, you you yeah. you walk into the bedroom and there is a a a human shaped stain on the floor. And just but like you're doing great. It's, it's you know, it's or it comes a, with free ice sculptures <sighs> of the previous tenants. Yeah, sure. Or clay you, sculptures, even. Decorative. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about Gotham real estate is you never know when you're going to like 
uh, open a, a cabinet during an apartment viewing and there will be a gas bomb in there or, you know, you <laughs> like uh, accidentally uh, like gouge a hole in the wall and you uh, you reach in and uh, somebody has stashed the plans to some sort of, I don't know, like a uh, uh, weapon of mass destruction. Right. Yeah. It's, it's just a dice roll, really. You know, it, it really is. It really is. So. You have clearly a lot going through your mind, Adam. Uh What do you do to blow off stress? And we can resolve this in whatever order you would like. Do you Mm -hmm. also talk to Frank? Oh, no. Not Frank. Okay. Because Um... he certainly certainly arrived home last night for dinner. (laughs) <laughs> and I think it would be it would have been after Ollie and Jackie left, but Ed was there. This uh, is competition. I mean, this Ed, is eh, that's a weird way of putting it. Ed's I'm not sure about that. Isn't as Frank, in, like, Frank, is Frank it, is my brother. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! oh I thought it was your. I thought it was your dad. No, no, no Fra- Frank. Brother. Yes. <laughs> yeah. so Frank, uh, Frank I'm Adams. Sorry. Frank is Adams. I thought this. <laughs> I misread that. Yeah, yeah. Watching way too much Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, look, you have to keep the lines of succession clear. I I will say I, I hated did, that. I did Ooh. just start playing uh, Crusader Kings three, and I've never gone straight to being such a horrible person so fast. That game really like, brings it out in in you. All, yeah. all it the just paradox games. Terrible. Stellaris, I'm like, oh yeah. A li- just a little bit of galactic level genocide. It's fine. Yeah. Anyway. Do Crusader Kings, it's like, we're going full Habsburg, baby. I, Top to bottom. I, like within, I think the first six hours of me playing that game, I had started a scheme to murder a baby. Um. <laughs> to be fair, Great. the baby was a huge asshole. So <laughs> yeah, do you talk to Frank? And what do you do to blow off stress in whatever order you would like? Let me know which one you want to address first. Uh, okay, so uh, we're gonna talk to Frank first. Get this out of the way. Let's yeah, just, for sure. Let's for just. Sure. I came out straight to mom. Got. I mean, whatever. Frank's. Uh, Frank works in construction. That's. Whatever, right? Like, what if he decks me? You know, that's nothing new. Or he's my older brother. That's like second nature. Whatever. Okay. Where and when do you have this chat with your brother? That night. Okay. Is it late? Is it? Are you? Are you waiting it is, until? It is. It is after dinner. After Ed leaves, Ed does not need to be here for that conversation. Well, here's a question. I don't think Ed, Ed wants do to you be leave? There. Do you leave? Because. A hundred percent, Carrie is going to be like, listen, you clearly had a difficult time. I can tell it, the doctor said, well, the med student said that uh, you got a bit of a concussion. So I wouldn't want to just throw you out in the cold. Uh, oh, Listen, uh, we got a couch right here. I can make it up for you. No problem. Is this before? Do you have the conversation with your mom like after? Like the next morning or or that night? I think it would be after you leave, whenever you leave. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I don't know, man. I feel like e- even though concussed, I think like the anxiety of like and wanting to make a good impression and like anxiety of like not wanting to overstay is welcome. And also realizing that... <laughs> Uh, dot 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 and his family might have uh, some things to talk about ed would just be like no um, thank you i really appreciate it um look if you you don't need to be worried but but you know if you are look uh, uh i can give you my number and i can text you when i'm home safe you know that would but make I, me I'm, feel much better sweetheart y- you know uh <laughs> i got those motherly instincts what can i say uh, look, that I, uh, you know, I I appreciate it. You know, I uh, <laughs> obviously have trouble looking after myself. So, but um, 
No, thank you. Yeah, and here, I'll just uh, put my number in your phone. And but I'm... Your, Carrie's phone is somehow in your hand instantaneously. Like, you, you um, barely even noticed her handing it to you. It was so fast. Yeah, he uh, puts his number in and then uh, takes a he takes a selfie. Um, but, you know, like... <laughs> like like one right pupil. up the nose. Yeah. I was going to say one pupil's a little larger than the other one, but I think that might be a sign of serious brain damage. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, uh, you know, just the very bad selfie. Um, and then he texts a little heart kiss, like, you know, a little kiss emoji to himself. Um, and then passes it back and uh, and and says, yeah, you know, I will, I'll text you and when he, I get home. Do you, do you like cats? Does Carrie like cats? Carrie likes cats. Yeah. I, I feel like Carrie is just an, an animal person. Yeah, just generally. Generally. Like, yeah. you guys maybe, do you have pets? We haven't established any pets. I don't think we have any pets at okay. the moment, but used you don't, to have pets. You don't have pets right now, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so so Carrie is like, oh, I love cats. Yeah. I you you, got, a, you this... got a cute little cat at home? Well, I I look after this feral colony. I'll, I'll send you pictures. They're, they're really, they're very cute. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, and well, and this is this is seemingly the first time that Carrie is is like really taken aback with Ed. Like that's a lot. <laughs> what people? It's not that hard to look after a feral colony. Like you just leave food out for them and stuff. Like yeah, they don't live us. in. Yeah they, yeah, they don't live in his house or anything. Like I don't know. Is that not a normal thing? <laughs> be like, I have a bunch <laughs> of feral cats in my backyard. That like me and. My partner are always feeding, so I'm like, yeah, we'll take care of the feral cats. The feral cats at my place won't eat our food. Like, we, we see them, and then we put out, like, a thing of cat food, and they're like, absolutely not. And they, it just huh. sits there. Yeah, I think the cats in our backyard have a whole operation going. There's, like, the one that's, like, more friendly that comes and scouts us out. Then the other, like, shy ones, like, will creep on in, so... Well, Ed's, yeah, Ed's but the, the way Ed's the way that us. you said it, the way that you said it, <laughs> Carrie is definitely thinking like, "Uh oh, does this man have a colony of feral cats in his apartment?" Uh, no, it's actually worse. Um, <laughs> he does not. He does so not much live. Worse, though. He lives in a fucking warehouse, basically. Um, God. Ed doesn't notice. He's like, "Yeah, I'll send you pictures. They're real cute. It's almost kitten season. I'm trying to trap and." neuter them and you know get them spayed i mean obviously i don't do the neutering <laughs> that'd be crazy anyway i'm gonna go um i, I think i need some rest and you gotta go home you gotta go home man right thank you so much for the mafungo it was you're absolutely so welcome delicious. i'm so glad you so liked good. it and it was it was it was great meeting you as well um you know i mean adam sometimes hang out or so you know um uh, I'm glad you're looking maybe after we'll my run baby in, boy. We'll run it means a lot again. to me, Ed. It means a lot to me that he's got somebody like you looking out for him. Send me a it's, text. It's nothing. I, I will. I will. Okay. All right. Okay. You, you guys have a good night. Okay. I love time. this fucking family. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. So that's that's definitely the. <laughs> <laughs> and that's definitely the scene with Ed. Uh, and Ed, Ed has Ed has removed himself. I think, um, yeah, I I think that is probably. Do you actually do the three of you discuss this as a family, or do you take Frank aside separately? Ooh. Uh, I, uh, ooh. Mm. And Presidency says yes. Uh, I, I think the, the the jury of my mind says um, this is a family meeting. We will, we will family meeting. So you're less likely to get punched by your brother if your mom's there. Okay, that's true. So so I think we get back to what we have previously established as the end point of this conversation, but because mm -hmm. the contours are going to look a little different because Frank is there. Yeah, uh, I think I think. Carrie closes the door, turns around back to the dinner table, and, uh, like, staring you down a little bit, Adam, sweetheart. 
You got something to tell your brother? I'm moving out. Uh, what? You're moving out? What? Mom would never let you do that. Are you kidding? Yes, she would. <laughs> because, uh, because, uh, I did Mom, bad things. Mom, come on. What kind of joke? Oh, okay. What'd you do? Mom, come on. Uh, he's pulling my leg, right? I worked for the Riddler for four years and dropped out of school for it. it okay, that's really funny. But, like, what's really going on? Just grabs a bunch of schematics he took from his office and, like, starts lay laying them out on the table. And it, it slowly starts dawning on Frank that you are not pulling his leg. And he, he kind of looks over this stuff, sees all the very official Riddler branding, and uh, looks, looks over to Carrie, and he's like, Mom, is this true? Did he tell you about this? Did you know about this? Not until tonight I didn't. But now, I do. This is what your brother's been doing. Uh, what the hell, dude? Yeah, you just you just gonna sit there? What the hell? This is how I make money. This is how I pay the bills, man. We live in Gotham, dude. Like, yeah, man. And it's fucking hard for somebody to eke out an honest living because <laughs> there's all these crazy criminals running around all the time. So what the hell? What gives? You lied to mom? Are you kidding me, man? I didn't lie. I obfuscated. I should fucking sock you, man. I should lay you out. You kidding me? All right, so now what? Moving out. I Listen, Frank. Your brother's... Your brother's gotta walk his own path. I... I'll tell you what, I was pretty surprised myself, and, uh, you know, no mother wants to hear that uh, her kid, who she has thought was working an honest job in this goddamn city, had gotten caught up in all that criminal stuff. But that's what we're living with, and... The Jimenezes stick together, okay? We love each other. Even, even when we do things that maybe we gotta hide, that maybe we aren't so proud of, and that maybe we know would be hurtful. All right, all right. Enough with the fucking third degree, okay? I get it. I'm a fucking disgrace for doing this, all right? I'm sorry I wanted you all to have a fucking a nice place to live. I'm sorry I paid our bills. I'm, I'm sorry I did something with my life that I thought was productive. I'm sorry I did something with my abilities that, that I could do instead of just flipping burgers or being a janitor or some shit. Like, like our jobs are not around here. I'm sorry I want to do this. Is that fucked up? Maybe. Okay? I, I All I want to do is to just create. Is that a crime? Man, I am never gonna understand you, brother. But hey, you heard what mom said. We're family. We stick together. So that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. I get it. it you just gotta... You gotta give us some time, baby. I want to tell you right now, it doesn't get easier. This is this is what it is. I'm sorry I kept it hidden from you, but this is this is why I didn't want to tell you, because I knew you'd be mad. And but you're right. You did your part. You did your part for the family. You did bring money in, and you did it doing. I. Don't understand how, and I can't really wrap my head around it, but you did it doing something you loved, and I gotta be proud of you for that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Well, I sure Stop. as hell don't. But at least I can feel a little better that uh, you weren't sitting in some stupid office all day. Hey, listen, yeah. if you're gonna do one of those goddamn corporate jobs, 
You're stealing from people anyway, so might as well go all in, right? Frank's with the program, Mom. Frank knows what's up. All right, well, Frank, if I find out that you are not working construction after all this, I will either uh, have a heart attack and drop dead, or I will unleash an absolute typhoon <laughs> on you, my son. Hey, listen, I'm not the one in this family going around keeping secrets, okay? You know, that's what it is. Bro. Okay, I don't, I don't want to be labeled as the brother who keeps secrets. That's super villain shit. That's what it is, man. I don't care what you're doing. I care that you couldn't tell us about it. Hmm? That's where I am. And he, he gets up and he's starting to clear off, like, the plates and stuff. So, gotta find your own place now, huh? I'm lucky. I've got some some friends. But I, I am gonna miss y'all. And I'm sorry. Hey, listen, baby boy. Your family's always going to be here, but uh, you showed me that you were right. It's time for you to leave the nest, spread your wings. You got to make your own way, and I hope to God that way is safe. I'll tell you what. There's one thing that that job provided us. It was security. Not in the traditional way, but got us through some pretty rough times. So. And... Your mom grabs a couple of the, the remaining stuff that Frank didn't clear off the table, comes over, kisses you on the forehead. And I think as she turns away, the last thing we see is the tears welling up in her eyes. So you're left with that. Um, wow, that, that fucking sucks, David. Wow. What do you do subsequently? Hey, hey David. You ever heard of vent art? Yeah, yeah, I, I think I think I can see where this has gone. Maybe a little bit of that. Uh, I think I think Adam just feels real fucking terrible. And especially after like what Frank said, and like every like the whole conversation that happened tonight and being told like to move out, like Adam feels like he kind of like has to commit now to like this path and um starts drawing art of costume designs and things for dot 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 that's maybe a little bit more upgraded maybe a little bit more streamlined ideas for time to go Ooh. pro yeah not just not just some amateur Time, time to be a actual on the ground villain. Cool. Uh, give me a fortune roll with your study. I want to say insight. Mm. Let's say insight. Mm -hmm. Ooh, <laughs> this is so funny because we I saw your message in chat. Marcy about this being a parallel because I also got a six, a six, and a five. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Cool. Okay. Uh, with two sixes, I am going to say this, this downtime activity of like, you know, you're, you're, you're getting it all out of your head and onto the page. That's how you're going to channel this, this out, right? Uh, and you're, you, you've got this, you've got this new design. With two sixes, when you, when you do show up with your new costume, which I will probably say is not going to be immediately, you're going to need some time to actually fabricate this. What extra piece of gear do you now have access to that's part of your costume? Ooh, baby. My instinct, especially based off of what happened in, a, in the last operation, 
is, uh, I think it's going to be like, uh, I'm literally like, it's the thing that fucking Batman has, the, the, he shoots it, and then there's a, and then, like, it's like a, a grapple gun, yeah. thank god, oh, thank yeah, you. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, like, like, ways to, like, grapple easily, um, I mean, I don't cool. think I'm really, like, a god or anything, but it's nice of you to say. Thank you. Thank you, Al. Cool. Okay, so make a note that I think when we see dot 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 in the next arc, you will have access to that. Great. Yeah, two sixes. Pretty good. Gra- Grap null gun? Grap null, yes. Weird. Yeah, with an N. I know. Ollie, let's get back to you. What do you do to blow off stress? You've uh, either immediately after parting ways with Jackie or later on. I think Ollie is um, is extremely stressed. They're physically okay. I feel like they're gonna fuck with some cops. <laughs> Shit. Great. Like, I think what they've that got this like? stolen car... Um, so I think the energy is, um, drive around, uh, until it gets a little bit later and a little bit like, so there's still cars on the road, but it's not like packed. There's not a lot of pedestrians. And then I think they find like a cop car that's just waiting at a red light and just do a few, just does some donuts around them (laughs) and then takes off. This is absolutely a, they, they instigate a car chase wild i i love this okay give me a roll this is a fortune roll with your maneuver rating because you're maneuvering this car let's hope i didn't just fuck myself not terrible five four two okay five so the highest is a, a mixed or weak success so i think you're gonna get away from this like car chase will be successful um but the only way that you're doing it is you're gonna have to bail out of this car where do you do that and what does it look like do i bail out of the car while it's still moving i think you gotta yeah there there's like you get you get to a point where it's clear that you have too much heat on you to uh to you you just have too much heat on you and the only way that you're getting out of this is to separate yourself from this vehicle in in a way in in a dramatic as fashion as possible that will All throw right, them here's off my your pitch. scent here's the scene um yeah we are we see again these sulfur lights the lights of a um of a suspension bridge uh two lanes on each side and one of the lanes is closed and traffic is very heavy on this bridge, there's uh, there's obvious construction workers. Um, like there, you see uh, the panicked look of this blue collar Gothamite with his uh, uh, hard hat flipped backwards for no fucking is it reason. Is, is it Frank? <laughs> on his way That's home actually. From work? Is no, it no, no, Frank? no. He's it, it, this guy's actively working. He's flagging. Oh. Um, which. Yeah. We we've established that Frank has already come home for dinner. At Frank this is point, home. So. Frank is home. Right. Right. No. Um, is this is this Frank's coworker? Is this Frank's work I mean, wife? Yeah, Frank, Maybe it right. Yeah, could totally be. Work wife is gender neutral. <laughs> um, I've had many work wives. None of them have been women. And uh, yeah, and, and you just see holding up the stop sign and just kind of a panicked look as like the shitty little fl- uh, strobe is going. And Ollie just kind of like looking over, and I'm picturing a bridge that is similar to the Brooklyn Bridge in New York where the Q train also runs. Yep. Um, and um, Ollie veers over through the guardrails on the bridge, sending this car careening off the bridge down towards the river, bails out, lands on lands on whatever uh, whatever train. Yeah, on the train uh, that's going on underneath. The train. Yeah, so we have this blare of, uh, of police sirens and then the screech of tires as they come to a halt the the what was it an audi the audi just 
just sort of ramp, twist, flip in the air, going over the. You know, you're you're at the the part where the cables get down to uh, to to where they like actually meet the deck, right? So you can flip the car over it, uh, and this just tremendous splash as uh, a, a underneath in the river as the car just plummets into the Gotham River. Uh, and we see Ollie like clinging to the top of this, uh, I guess, elevated train, right? Going across the bridge. Uh, the, in, the, uh, in the opposite direction that they had been driving before. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Backwards. And like looking looking behind you uh, and the, the wind of the train like ha- just like whips your sunglasses off. Uh, and we just see the the green glint of your eyes uh, as you sort of like like either climb up forward or backward along the top, or do you just hunker down? I think uh, they just hunker down and wait okay. until the next station, and then drop down in between the cars, and then get out as if they had been on a, the other car. Yeah, yeah, uh, and and you leave all of that behind you um, because that was such a wild decision and you only hit a a mixed success i am gonna hit you with one minor harm for the the impact of uh of the of the car hey david you know what you know what a special ability i have read it tenacious what does it say incoming harm is reduced by one severity Hmm, interesting that (laughs) <laughs> and where do we cut to unless are, are we are we cutting here or are we joining ali elsewhere are we following ali elsewhere I, I think we we just see a montage of Ollie getting uh, off at a train station, um, uh, stealing a different car. Um, in this case, immediately, a, uh, immediately steals another car. Uh, actually, why don't you tell me what kind of car I managed to steal, David? Uh, I mean, you certainly go for something less flashy this time around. Uh, you know, I, I mean, it's it's a Honda Civic. It's the most stolen car in the country right is and it the most stolen car in the country oh yeah because they had was, that issue with the security it was yeah, Hyundai for a period too. of time the the honda civic was the most stolen car in america because they were everywhere and they're totally generic it may not be the case anymore but you I think you the find last few like years a, that got it, yeah. hyundai had like a security issue like you could just like turn the cars on with by just by like d- pushing the, the, the key ignition in a certain way or some shit, and it became the most stolen car because a, ch- a toddler could steal it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you steal something extremely generic. Uh, heading back to the yard. Okay, cool. I want to give you another fortune roll, or do I want to let... I, I, I hit you with a bunch of stuff on that one. Let's get another one. This is with Ivy's rating, but I'm trying to decide if it should go down because she's, you know underpowered right now let's say one let's just say one we're gonna see what happens single dice yeah oh wait hang on i'm rolling special another five okay um another mixed success here cool what does that look like i think what happens is uh ollie you pull back up to the yard and scraps wheels out as you as you walk through the gates and he he calls across like uh yo ollie what up uh got a civic that's um some jerk off parked on a handicapped spot i'm not giving it back you wanna yeah i could use some parts you get on the phone or something with Ivy? I sent uh, a, a couple a couple pictures. What, what's wrong? Huh. What's wrong? Well, I, I don't know what kind of pictures you sent, kid, but uh, she booked it out of here in a hurry. Had her little outfit on, too. Did she say where she was going? 
She just said to tell you she was getting a friend of yours. Friend of mine? Who? Oh. Oh. Uh, I don't know, kid. Fuck. I gotta make some calls. Can you hold this? Um, and they just drop a, a duffel bag full of cash and scraps his and scraps just like, his lap. Just like, yeah, just like into his lap and he's like, this better not be a fucking body, man. It's... If it was a body, it'd be like a third of one at max. Take one of the bags, use it for the kids, and uh, keep the rest safe for me, yeah? Always do. And that, I think, is where we're going to leave it. Thanks for joining us on Manipod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can watch past games on youtube.com slash Manipod Studios. Let's get our players sign-offs and shout-outs. My name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and at my uh, website, AndreVera.art, which has my professional illustration portfolio, as well as all the actual plays that I'm in, including The Atomless Tragedy of the Illusion, Unicorn Hunt, Redline, Power Rangers, and Streets of Gotham. Um, I uh, also want to shout out my uh itch uh itch.io slash andre vera art we can get some games um i have some uh games that i've just made by myself uh as well as many collaborations with uh my my dear dear wonderful uh super dylan uh including uh at, at the time of recording our newest uh collaborative game american world biker club which is very fun you should check it out I have been Hopper. Regrettably, I will continue to be Hopper. Um, if you are uh, a masochist and is, uh, interested in seeking out more of me, uh, you can find me here on this network uh, very often on Flights of Fandom uh, every Tuesday and uh, on The Hole in the World, our award-winning uh, act- uh, Invisible Sun actual play. Um, in addition to that, uh, I can be found on the interwebs under the legend tree, including on Twitch, where it's done with underscores, so you can come watch the deranged shit that I do put out there. But it's good deranged shit. I have been Marcy. If I shall continue to be here in future, only time will tell. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I feel pretty confident you can still find me here on Manipod Studios pretty much uh, every Tuesday, as Hopper said, doing flights of fandom. Um, We've got a whole bunch of those episodes coming up for you, so you're going to want to keep your eyes right here on this channel each week. Uh, And uh, yes, I too am in the hole in the world, which is every Sunday. Uh, As I've said before, I'm a writer and an editor. You can find me almost anywhere online under the username Experimental Madness. And if you can't find me there, well, you can find me under my secondary, lesser known name, uh, Marsifal. Maddie here. Uh, you can find me on social media um, as Seller Tater and on my website, maddiecourtney.com. Uh, I'd love to plug my friends down at the Laughing Dragon Inn. They're another really great group of TTRPG streamers. So definitely go check their stuff out. Um, I believe they have Twitch, YouTube, and also a cool website uh, with all their characters and campaigns and stuff. And I've been David. You can find me on social media at DBrunel Brutman and on Manipot's Flights of Fandom. You can also find tabletop RPGs I've designed at dbb 8itchio including In the Dark, the Blades in the Dark hack that we play right here on Streets of Gotham. And with that, we'll see you next time.